I'm here with Leslie Baker from the office. I am Emily. I'm here with Nerd Locker at Motor City Comic Con. Leslie, thank you so much for talking with us today. Oh, thank you. And of course, everybody knows you as Stanley from the office, but your career actually started outside of the theater and the entertainment world. Is that right? Uh, my career in terms of, are we talking about my acting career or are we talking about life career. Your life career. My life career. Yes, I've had a variety of other jobs. I was an administrator for the health department for a number of years. Uh, I worked for the Board of Ed in Chicago. Uh, I worked for three psychiatric hospitals and on and on and on like that. So. so did you use some of that office experience that you brought to your character of Stanley in the office? Did I use those, what I learned on all those different jobs? Yeah. Yeah, I borrowed a little bit here and there and, you know, rolled it up into a ball and Stanley was born. So. Because I think everybody that works in an office setting can kind of pinpoint who the different characters are in their own office. Oh, and I definitely have known some Stanleys in my day. Oh, yeah. Um, that's the thing about the show. Those personality types will never, ever change. Whether you go to church or university or grammar school, high school, college, you're going to always run into those personality types, whatever type of job you have. If you work in a factory, if you work in an office setting, you're going to see those personality types. That's why people relate to the show, uh, whether they're in third grade or whether they're in the nursing home. They see those behaviors and personality types there. They never change. Congratulations and well. <laughs> well, and I know that your, I read a story about your audition for The Office, that you had been at a previous audition early that day, earlier that day, and you showed up for this audition kind of sweaty and schlumpy, and your clothes were muscled and all that stuff, and it, it kind of brought this character of Stanley to life. Yes, L.A. traffic helped bring Stanley to life. <laughs> yes, so... It was one of those kind of muggy days where you're in the car, and I come to the audition, there were a bunch of people there, so I left, went to my other audition, came back thinking I would have plenty of time, and I did. Ran into a bunch of traffic, and thus Stanley was born. And I think it can be difficult as an actor to play the straight man when you got all these crazy characters around you. So what was that like? Did you feel... Um, you, you sometimes don't get the payoff in those moments until you see the audience respond to your, your straight man act. Right. Well, you know, everybody can't be crazy in the room because otherwise nothing gets done. So uh, there was a good balance with the cast. We were able to find that, and Greg Daniels allowed us to find that. And, you know, he encouraged us to put the meat on the bones of our characters. So. Absolutely. And so one last question. How many toasters does Leslie Baker own? I only have one toaster. I have two microwaves, but I only have one toaster. All right. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today. I thank really you. appreciate it. Thank, thank you very you much. Such a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, thank everybody. You.